A lot of time there, right? <laughs> but consider what were you doing in the present moment? Because you see, the present moment is the only moment available to us. And it's also the doorway to all moments. What time do you spend in the present moment? And with what? And it's okay because you see, interestingly enough, we are our past self. We're our present self. And for the stretcher, we are our future self. And we all simultaneously exist in the present moment. I probably have stretched you far beyond what you feel comfortable with right now. I'm not feeling real comfortable with it either, so perhaps we're sharing space together. Time and space. They're both illusions. We understand that time is space. They're really relative, meaning that they really depend upon the motion of the observer who measures them. So, what's your motion? If you're in the present moment, then there's a good chance that you're going to be experiencing something that's happening right now. And that is a quickening of what we call time. Because remember, time, we created, it's our, it's our own device that we use to measure the space, the distance between our thoughts and our feelings and the manifestations. But this quickening that's happening right now is affecting all of us and some of us more than others in that we are witnessing the shortening of time between what we think and feel and what happens as a result of it. Can you remember a time when it seemed like everything just moved slow-mo? It was so nice and easy. I remember it as a kid. As a matter of fact, as a kid, sometimes I thought time stood still. And it usually stood still about an hour before school was to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time? Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that bugged me so much, I decided that the answer to that was to simply skip school. <laughs> <laughs> And my manifestations 
I unconsciously was experiencing. I thought that time in a particular way. It carried a certain energy to it. Just like the time I'm living now carries a very different energy to it. And there's another time that really gets our attention. And that's when we go to a place we've never visited before, and all of a sudden, it happens. I've been here before. When I go around this corner, I'm going to see this. And it isn't because we've seen it on television. Or we meet someone, and we know them, even though this is the first time we're meeting them. Deja vu? Sound familiar? Mm -hmm. Well, if we are our past self, our present self can remember our past self. What if our future self is remembering our present self that we are experiencing as deja vu? Remembering. You see, we think we've got it all figured out, right? <laughs> and that's because we have, up to now, such a limited mindset of what is real and what is unreal. Whereas that's beginning to explode, and to us, it's beginning to implode. Because all of the things that we've thought were true, that we believed were true, are now starting to have a, mm, a different sound to them, a different feel to them. We're beginning to wonder about many of the things that we believed were so, because they're starting to show cracks and crevices in them. If we pay attention to the cracks and crevices, then of course we're going to be lost in them. But if we look and see what's being revealed, we're going to see a lot of light shining through. And that light is also a part of the quickening you see. Because if you have put into practice any time at all being present, you've noticed how it can and does affect you in positive ways. Instead of spending all your time worrying and hassling and fretting and being concerned either about things of your past or things of your possible future, you're able to be present in the moment and discover things that you would never have experienced if you'd have been elsewhere. So the present moment has all kinds of positive benefits to it that can be experienced in almost an unheard of number of ways. It can affect you health-wise to where you don't inhale as often as you used to. <laughs> Instead of having that second drink, you limit yourself to the first. Instead of Looking at the news before you go to bed, you decide to meditate on the good things in your life. I know all of these are shocking considerations. <laughs> <laughs> but they can be in our part of your choosing to be present with yourself in yourself and make some discoveries of things that you have been avoiding or missing before. You see, healing doesn't happen by itself. It happens with your participation. That then leads you to a place of ascending in consciousness to where in the ascension you start generating more positive energies, more positive thoughts and feelings. And as you do, you notice the effect it has on time. Because the manifestations that start showing up start showing a resemblance to 
the choices you're making. And all of this happens by choosing to be present in the present moment, which is the only moment we have. But that is the doorway to all other moments. So that then we are able to find a, a coming together of past, present, and future to where it would almost feel like a unifying energy is bringing those loose and wobbly cells together to where you feel more whole, more complete, and choosing to be you. So, you decide. Do we have time? Yes. 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 Thank you. For more information about the Metaphysical Church of Enlightenment or the Rodin Foundation, please go to our website at www.rodin.org. If you have been inspired by the revelations shared in these podcasts, please donate to the Rodin Foundation's ongoing efforts to help others help themselves at www.rodin.org.